Hi guys, Ryu here with another bit for Blender. In this one, we're gonna be designing a sci fi ceiling. So let's do the plane and let's go SY2 and then maybe Q, solidify. And then when you hold control, you can snap it to, to increments um, when you're solidifying. So you see that we're gonna have exactly minus 0 0.1. Now, what I wanna do though is I wanna check where is the uh, which way the face is oriented. So I'm gonna go Alt V and face orientation, and orientation is incorrect because if this is a ceiling, this part's gonna be facing downwards. So what we need to do is flip it, right? And then if I'm gonna go to Alt V and let's just turn it off and turn the solidification back on, solidification is gonna work downwards, right? So we might actually flip that. So operations, sorry, modify, solidify, and hold control, boom. Just two things before we start. We are currently running a Black Friday sale on Gumroad and BlenderBros.com. Blend the market. The sale starts on 26th on Friday, so you need to wait. Blend the market and Gumroad is 25% off, and our website BlenderBros.com is 30% off. And there's also an amazing deal. It's a Black Friday bundle which contains our best products and it's at 50% off and that's the only chance to get it. Now, second thing is that we run a membership on our website. It's really cool. So I encourage you to click on the link and just read about it. It's uh, basically a better version of Patreon and that's what we've done. There's more features and it's really cool. And right now we are running 30% off of permanent discount, which means if you sign up right now, a bit for a month or a year, you will get a 30% discount every month as long as you're going to stay subscribed. So that's a pretty hefty discount. So consider that yeah, a lot of cool features. And uh, like I said, links in the video description. So if you want to read more about it, just hop on the links and check it out. Now on Gumroad, you're going to need a discount coupon for the a discount to work uh, when you're gonna add something to your basket to your uh, cart you will need to input during checkout black friday 2021 black friday 2021 is one phrase and uh, on our website on blenderbuzz.com you don't need any coupons everything is embedded just simply go to the website and click on store or click on the link in the video description so that's it guys uh happy black friday so now I can apply scale, control A, apply scale, and we're going to, actually we can array this. So let's array it sideways, like this, right? I want to create a tiny gap between these, right? So, you know, they, they kind of slightly separated, okay? Slightly, like this, right? And then I can array them the other way. So press A with array, and you can create another array, which is kind of cool. I hold shift and you know snap them really closely and snugly and then if I'm gonna like apply bevel um, everything's gonna be peachy so then I'll click on sharpen to add weighted normals and you know we're done so that will be the uh, the kind of like a base of our ceiling okay so now on top of this we need to add some beams so that's the cube let's go to um, front view here let's make it smaller and drop it down um, you can hold control to snap it really closely the way you want so somewhere here and then maybe you know maybe make it narrower or what we could do is cut it so we could do something like this just go to d and uh, cut it and create like a h beam so something like that alt x copy to the other side and then we need to, you know, make it a bit longer, yeah? So, S, Y, and make it a bit longer. And G, Y, and move it somewhere here. Now, we're going to duplicate it and move it to the other side. So, uh, we could either mirror this or we could duplicate it. I think we're going to mirror this. Now, because this is an array, uh, the origin point is in here. So, what we need to do is uh, Shift-D, and then Visual to Mesh, Shift-S, and to geometry and then shift s and cursor to uh select it and then delete it so we left with this array piece but our cursor is in the middle so now what i can do is press alt x and uh, i can go to tab which will enable additional options here switch to cursor and cursor and now remember we have the mirror here so to add additional mirror for hard ops you need to press a and then mirror Otherwise, it will not work, okay? So now you're gonna have two mirrors, 
going on this beam okay peachy so that's that and these are gonna be our kind of like supporting beams we can you know we can sort of lower them down a bit maybe like this and uh, add additional element here so another cube and scale it down let's go to side view and make it smaller a bit taller drop it down here That will do it and move it somewhere here. So G uh, G Y and skeleton X. So you know, scale it like this. It's a bit too wide. Something like this. And we get the radius too. Uh, let's apply scale first and then the radius. The reason why I'm applying scale is because press X. Because um, if you don't do that, if you want to, for example, add bevel or something it will create havoc with your arrays. We need to add some additional structure to it. So uh, we're going to be adding some more beams underneath. OK, um, so what we can do is uh, grab these and we're going to duplicate them. Shift D. But you see they're losing the cutters, right? Because cutters do not move. So what you need to do is right click to cancel, press Q and go to operations and uniqueify. This will add a unique cutter to um, this duplication and duplicate them down and move them somewhere here so now we don't need this mirror we don't need this mirror and uh, we're going to rotate this so R Z and rotate it here uh, we're still on the uh, cursor rotation which is perfect and let's move this beam somewhere here and maybe make it a bit smaller so uh, let's change to origin Shift X to scale it on all the axes except for for X and SX. Make it a bit narrower. There you go. And you know maybe a radius as well. So um, just apply scale and Q modifier and array and just you know a radius. Boom. Right. Something like that. So now we need some pipes as well. Uh, so we can add some pipes. So let's go to a cylinder and it doesn't have to be so dense, 24 is enough. Rx and rotate it holding control and S scale it and S uh, Y scale it like this. Go to the front view and let's find some spot for these pipes. S shift Y to scale it. We could make it a bit longer and sharpen it and gz and move it up like that cool and then we're going to uh, shift d and s shift y make it smaller and one more and then maybe shift d and make it bigger so s shift y make it bigger and put it somewhere here so we got some pipes going on over there, which is cool. Uh, we could repeat that on the other side. So shift the X and move it in here. And maybe the big one too. Cool. All right, now let's go to the, the bottom view and press shift alt C with cable operator and let's just draw a cable. Then press Q and draw another cable here. Q and another cable and Q and another cable and then we're going to make them a bit smaller so just you know scale them up a bit move them here and let's see then gz move them down a bit cool and now we're going to you know um drop them down gz and you know do something like this uh, we could move them a little bit on x and You see that this could drop down GZ and there you go. So you got this, you know, these cables here going on. This one doesn't really make sense. Uh, control L to select it and just delete it. There you go. This one also, I think, should be moved a little bit or. There you go. 
RX GZ. That makes sense. This one's a little bit too droopy, right? RX and GZ. That's better. And this one, GZ. Drop it down a bit. So we got that going. Now we, we will need some probably some support for these beams. I mean, not beams, the pipe. So it's just the cube. And let's go to local view and let's just scale it a bit and apply the scale. And then let's just grab these two and kind of, you know, press C. So control B and proceed. And then kind of add some bevels, not too many. Let's not be crazy. Make it a bit smaller. Let's go here and, you know, sharpen this. That's a bit too small. And let's see that. I uh, just add it in here. All right. And G, Y, and move it here. Shift D, move on here. Shift D, you know. Shift D, Y, move on here. And then you could. This should be a little bit bigger though. Um, so scale them. There you go. And uh, on this side. We could uh, we have a, some kind of a weird artifact here let's just press 3 to clean it and sharpen and there's a double edge somewhere here unmark this there we go we could get some more beams across here so we could grab this one and shift dc and move them up here like this uh, so we're gonna get rid of the cutters and move them closer together so do something like this right and then add something to this array so go to modifiers and array so you just add a few more segments so it's kind of a bit more you know interest over there and move it higher so gz and you know move it higher here and then sx move it in like this okay. so there's a bit more you know complexity to the roof now remember that once you play some lighting and it's gonna be in a room, uh, you will not be seeing most of it. Okay, you will not be seeing most of it. Another thing that you can do is play some um, beams here on the sides. So you could select these, go to the front view, shift DM, DM again, and then go to modifier and we could go to operations and uniqueify and move them to the sides here. Okay, like this, right? And then you're gonna have these kind of connections, which is interesting. We could create um, even, you know, beams like that. Okay, uh, kind of supporting beams here. So you could shift D this, and uh, we could uniqueify this as well. So operations uniqueify, and uh, we can remove the array because we don't need it. We need only one beam. So let's go to the let's go to the bottom view, and we have this beam. All right. So now what we can do is make it a bit narrower. So S Y make it a bit more narrow like this. That's cool. And then let's grab this and move it in here. And then R and hold Control. And we're going to sort of put it in here in this corner like this. And Shift D and rotate it. And put one here. So you're gonna get kind of supporting beams in her inside here in the ceiling. So you see you're creating kind of an interesting, you know, situation. Now these cables are going through, so we need to kind of sort it out. And then in addition to all this, we could add some industrial lights, you know. Um, so, for example, let's grab a cube and um, let's just drop it down and scale it here a bit and scale it on Z and make it a bit smaller. Now let's see this from the bottom view, right? Let's rotate that and we could add some lights. Actually, we could add some lights like this. Uh, you know, one here. Shift D Y and one here, and then copy them to the other side. So Alt X. We still have the cursor set up. So boom. Then we can move them up, right? Let's just see that. Um, that's cool. Let's make them narrower. 
all right and drop them down a bit and then let's just inset them and extrude them scale them and then here in the bottom what we could do is select these with Control and alt so you're gonna sele select the whole loop of edges and then Control b them before we do that let's apply scale now if you select uh, one with shift control uh, with control alt you can see that the other one gets deselected but if you hold shift you can select you know all of them yeah so shift control alt click yeah control b and you know scale them um it's a bit of a mess here but we can clean it with um clean mesh see it's cleaned add some bevel and then we're going to go here to the bottom control b and um, scroll your mouse to create a chamfer select these two inset them a bit yeah then extrude them and scale them a bit inset them a bit as well and extrude them down and scale them all right and you got yourself cool light let's apply uh, operations and click out click on sharpen to apply weighted normals and you got yourself a cool ceiling so there you go guys this is you know really easy way of creating some cool uh cool sci-fi ceiling this one is clipping a bit no you know um it looks layered and complicated and it's gonna look really cool in your environments you could add some more stuff to it if you wanted to you could add some bolts uh, you could add some bolts for example with um kit up so i'll click here on the loader and i'm gonna use the hard ops inserts for it which you can get for free on gumroad um i think um they are made by master zeon the creator of hard ops and box cutter add insert and just you know where is my insert one more time select this beam select this beam here there we go and let's just add insert there we go scale it down shift select the beam and let's just remove the mods from it so simply copy and you know you could scale it down and move it somewhere here and you could create bolts you know um, let me just show you so make it smaller and maybe even smaller than that somewhere here and you know shifty 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 you could go all day if you wanted to as well so and then let's actually combine them into one object so control j oh control j cool and then alt x and you know copy to the other side and this is just gonna add a bit more interest to this whole thing and it's gonna look a bit more believable just like you know like a steel paneling or steel framing everything of course should have bevels because it's just gonna look better with bevels added some bevels to this structure and there you go, you got a, a really cool layered, kind of complicated ceiling. If I select everything Alt-M and put material on it, and then, you know, select these beams and do something different with them. Let's go to look that for a sec. And everything is gray. Let me just Alt-M this and, and black matte. Make the beams a bit a bit darker or maybe more silverish or something let's see let's make them darker like dark steel there we go so select these and you know uh copy mats and the pipes could be you know i don't know metallic so something like that these cables could be rubber so make it really rough and dark right and you get yourself a ceiling this uh, you know let's add some material to it uh, we could add some emissive mat here so add another mat assign and also not assign new material and emission let's make it kind of industrial so on the blue side and assign and then select these these two and you know plus and massive assign and there you go this ceiling here is a little bit too too bright so we can 
I can actually copy this mod here. So it's gonna be a bit darker. These pipes could be the same color, and these beams here could be the same as this one as well. So darker. And boom. And of course, this is look dev, so you know, it ain't gonna look pretty, but if you're gonna go to cycles things start looking very much more interesting so if i'm gonna go here and shader editor and let's just go to world and uh, let's just load some so let's drop abandoned and you see i told you that's gonna be really really dark here right and then i'm gonna give you a cool trick if you really want to make your light realistic what you want to do is in addition to emissions you want to what uh, you want to add the real light so let's go to light and area go to bottom view and let's just first reshape this light so it's going to follow the shape of the lamp more or less right more or less and then we need to drop it on the same height as the light so somewhere here okay go to the bottom view there we go and then alt d and move it in here Alt D and X, right, and Alt D and Y. I'm doing Alt D because when I adjust one light, they're gonna adjust at the same, all of them at the same time. So I can pump this up here to like I don't know, three hundred or something. And when you add volumetrics, you're gonna have a very different situation. So if I'm gonna go to Shift A and add a cube, and you know S let's say s10 or s not a 10 that's a bit too big um i should do actually and then let's add some um, volumetrics to it so let's go to shader editor and let's add some volume here so we don't need this um principled volume search volume there we go and add volume here and we're gonna make it really you know not so dense so 0 0.003 maybe there you go and make it a little bit bluish a little bit darker cool so now if you go here press dot on the numpad and you know it looks really cool gonna have a lot of um, fireflies because we would need to you know run some proper run some proper what you call them um, render on this one but you know there you go so see these ones may be a bit too metallic or maybe they could be a bit rougher or darker or something they could be even yellow just for fun industrial pipes yeah maybe not as saturated hang on see that there you go we remove the volumetrics for a second and uh let's see that yeah so see like i said you know when you when you're gonna have ao and everything gonna kick in the shadows you're not gonna be able to see that much um you know inside here but it will look complicated and really cool so you can create some really awesome ceilings for sci-fi environments with ease and you know you could what you could do right you could just add a empty to it so let's just go here and add an empty and so uh, let's go with maybe yeah arrows something like this actually no i fucking hate this uh let's just go plain yeah there we go move it somewhere here and then Control i to invert it and select this one and shift um Control p and you know keep transform and what you could do is create an instance of this uh, entire, you know, entire thing. So uh, let's just go here and move this one to, let's just move this one to collection and the cable to collection. So this insert uh, pack doesn't do anything. We can delete that. All right. So what we could do now is uh, clone this, um, this collection so watch i'm gonna go here to add collection instance and collection and at the moment what i have is i have an instance of this collection so i can do now is i can you know move it wherever i want to and i can duplicate it and clone it and sort of uh, create you know panel ceiling and the cool thing about it is that um, it doesn't really affect your memory because it's an instance 
so again i can just you know add another instance here so collection and go to the top view and you know start building my my ceiling so if you if you created these these ceilings you know as like a one unit that could be you know arrayed then you can create paneled ceiling very easily you can just populate your entire scene then you can create some other panels and put them in the middle the same size and you know and you're gonna get some really cool complex structure you know on top of your stuff that's it for me guys i hope you enjoyed the vid uh, give us a like and sub if you did and i catch you in the next one